I've always wanted the ability in the YouTube Creator Studio to cut something out of the beginning, the middle, or the end of an uploaded video, update it, and not have any ranking and views counts affected. Well, now you can do that. In this video, you're going to see how to edit with the new YouTube Video Editor and discover how to use it as well. Let's dive in. Hey, it's Gord here. Welcome! If it's your first time here and it's your passion to make great videos, become a ninja at video editing and learn more tips on how to succeed with video and marketing on YouTube, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and click the bell notification icon so you don't miss a thing. So now let's look at the new YouTube editor. First go into your Creator Studio, which I've done for my channel. I'm here in Creator Studio. Click on YouTube Studio Beta. And once you're inside Studio Beta, you want to choose Videos here on the left. And then you want to select the video that you want to go in to edit. So we're going to choose this one here, Video Facebook Profile. It's a private video that I have, but this is just for our demo purposes. And on the left, you're going to see the word Editor here in the list. So we click on Editor, and this brings us into the new YouTube Editor. So it has a nice interface. We can expand and contract our our, our sort of canvas or work area. At the top, you see there's an undo and redo options on the right side, discard changes and save. And there's a keyboard shortcut page, which you can see there in here, a lot of options, but we'll talk about a few of them as we use them. And down here we have our timeline. And, and in order to do any changes, we're gonna have to click on trim here in the blue, the lettering there. And if you see, if I click on trim, you see the blue context goes around our timeline at the bottom. And you see we have a, like a playhead that you can move all around, or you can click anywhere and move it to where you want it to be. There's zoom in and zoom out features here on the top right, or you can do plus and minus. And you can also use control minus to, to and control plus for the, uh, to control the, the zooming in and out. And you can also, if you've zoomed in, which is control plus, and you can see here we're zoomed way in and you want to get back to get the timeline to fit just what's on the visible screen, you do control one. And that's just nicely brought our timeline back in context for us. You're also going to see here, let's say if I put my playhead here at a certain point, you can go into this sort of time code little box here. It's right now saying it's at two seconds and 21 frames. If you press up arrow, notice that the playhead's moving. I hold down the playhead's moving and we're moving by a frame at a time. That's a nice little feature to do fine grained movement, but you can also use the period and the comma to achieve the same results. See now I'm moving with a period. To, so the period's moving me along to the right. And then if I put the, press the comma key, the comma's moving us to the left. But our focus right now is going to be on what we want to do with our clip that's here. What do we want to edit out? One of the things I really like about this timeline is that we're, when we're editing, we're going to highlight sections that we want to remove. We're not going to actually going to like vis visually contract the timeline. So it's easy to see how everything is at a glance, no matter how many changes that we want to apply. And then that just makes for an easy visual confirmation of what you're doing. And you also see that there's a preview mode. So now that I click trim, you can see there's this bar here at the beginning. And if we drag it, we can actually trim out time from the beginning. And now what I want to do for our video here is I wanted to trim out a half a second of this one and a half seconds that the image shows. So that's about 15 frames. So as you can see, the, the highlighted area, it's got this um, black sort of overlay with some opacity on it. So that part is trimmed. If I want to do some trimming on the end, I again go click there and it's the same kind of like uh, white bar, which you'll see is the same bar that's used when we do a, a split in a moment. And I want to take a half second off the end. So with it right at the end, I've already clicked on it to give it context. It says 15, 4504. So I want to subtract 15 frames from there. So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So there, same thing. I've trimmed a half second off the end of my video. So those two pieces are done. Now I 
because I'm only interested in this middle section here where I'm actually doing my my little uh, client intro bumper, I want to trim out all the piece in the front here from after the the second that that is going to be left that shows my intro. So let's find the beginning of where that section is I want to cut. So I'm going to use the period key. The period and the comma can be used to navigate frame by frame. So as you can see, as I'm moving, time code field up here is also adjusting. So I'm going to go back to the timeline here, click here, and I'm going to move by using the period key. So I'm moving the period key and looking at the display. It just switched over. So I'm going to go one frame before, and I want to start my split there. So you click the split uh, down here on the bottom where you see this blue sort of rectangle where it says split, clear all, and preview. I click spit, split, <laughs> spit, <laughs> and you get the bar again, just like we saw with the beginning and end where we were trying to trim. Now I want to, so I click on somewhere on the bar and drag it with this double headed arrow. And I want to end right where I'm starting into the, the section for the, the demo of the intro bumper. So that's where I want to have it go to. So now you can see this area all is sort of highlighted with this kind of black opacity thing. If I wanted to eliminate what I just did, I can click undo split here. If I click undo, see it's all gone back, but it, I should be able to undo that undo and it puts it back. So you have the undo and redo buttons at the top here. So we have that part highlighted. Next, I want to do my next split at the end of this demo. So I brought it over there and I'm going to use my little period key to go until I switched. So there the, the frame switches. So I want to come back one frame and click split again. And now I'm going to drag the bar all the way to the end, and I want only my end part to stay. So, okay, I brought the bar to there. I'm going to fine tune it by moving the period, pressing the period key. Okay, there we are. I'm going to go to start right there. So now you can see that we have four areas, the, the beginning, the beginning piece here. Then we have the piece after the image shows that we're cutting out. Then we just have our demo piece in the in the middle and then our, our end and then the last piece that was cut out again at the very end to just shorten the exit. Now, once you've done all that you want to do, you can actually, you know, go to the player and we press play. So you could see that we pressed play and it walked through the timeline playing only the pieces that are going to be left. So that's like a preview. You can also click this preview button, which, which now means, as you can see, we can no longer undo the sections because there's no longer any of the, the undo X's that were here. And if we wanted to undo, we would actually have to click discard changes up top here. So we could click on save changes or discard. I'm going to click on discard first, just to show you what happens. So I click discard, everything disappeared that we had highlighted for cutting out. But if I click undo, it all comes back. So everything is here. So just letting you know that you're kind of protected because you can, um, you know, cycle through all your changes that you've made and reapply them. So it's quite flexible. Now I'm going to click on save. Up pops up this bot dialog box, which is very important to appreciate because they're telling you that this will cause your existing video to be updated. It's an irreversible action and it may take up to a few hours. And during that time, viewers will see the current version of the video and you will be unable to make additional changes. While the video is being processed, you are free to leave this feature and edit your other videos. So we want to go through with this. Everything will be irreversible and that's just fine because we've previewed it and are satisfied. Now you can see at the bottom, it says video is being processed. Please check back later. And as you know, the, the pop-up save box said you can go do other things and check what you want. So we're going to let this go and let it do its thing. So just to show you that the edit is in progress, I came back to the creator studio. So in other words, I popped out of a YouTube studio beta and I came back in there and I went into videos and here's my video that we did the updates on. And as you can see, it says here, edit in progress. So we just have to come back later to be able to access it. 
Wow. Now you can see that the new YouTube video editor is quite useful as you can do some edits, whether at the beginning, in the middle, or at the end of your video, and update the video without losing your rankings and your views counts. And this is very important. I will especially be using the editor to help me clean up my live stream recordings. As you know, sometimes there's technical difficulties and long windedness that you just want to get rid of and want to fix. So I'll definitely be using for that. And after all, if you can tighten up your content, you're more likely to have better audience retention. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I may also expend the extra effort to remove some of the nasty filler words like the ums and ahs that I do. And finally, with the ability to make changes without your stats being affected, you may also want to do some work on older videos, clean them up, and maybe even add some end cards. Thank you for watching. And if you need any assistance with editing and producing your videos for YouTube, marketing, and training or course production, be sure to reach out to me through my website, cordeisman.com. See you in another video soon.